Welcome to another episode of Drager Talk Cybersecurity. I'm Scott Bristol, Senior Manager Product Security at Drager Medical. Today I'll be discussing with you the differences between safety and security. One of the things the medical device industry was founded upon and does very well is building safe products. When I talk to people about device security, the concepts of security and safety are often confused. These are very different concepts, but they are related. While the safety of a device is always a top priority, the security must also be considered. But as you will understand from the following example, the approaches towards safety and security are not always the same. In a very simple definition, safety is a protection against accidents, whereas security is a protection against criminal actions or malicious intent. We all know the human head should be protected. The danger to the human head in this example is a stone. A stone hitting the head is bad and we should protect the head. I'll give you two scenarios. In the first scenario, the head being protected belongs to a construction worker and the stone is falling down from the scaffolding. This is most likely an accident. On a construction site, we're talking about workplace safety. To protect their heads, the workers are wearing safety helmets. In the second scenario, the head to be protected belongs to a police officer and the stone has been thrown by an angry protester. This is most likely a malicious action. To protect their heads, police officers are wearing security helmets. In both scenarios, the goal is to protect the head. The terms security and safety get confused because the protection mechanisms appear similar, a helmet. Taking a closer look, there are some important differences. The safety helmet protects from accidents quite well. In an accident, we would likely see a stone falling downwards and not horizontally. Because of this, safety helmets are rarely seen with visors or neck guards. It's also very unlikely that a second stone would hit the same worker again. So it's okay for the safety helmet to break on first impact to absorb the energy. The same does not hold true for stones thrown with malicious intent. These stones usually follow a horizontal trajectory. Because of this, security helmets need to protect the face and the neck. The likelihood of multiple impacts is also much higher. Stone throwing protesters can't be trusted to stop throwing after the first stone. It is important to consider both aspects in the design of medical devices. For example, a safety measure to reboot a device receiving weird or unexpected inputs may look good from a safety perspective if the inputs are caused by a device error. But an attacker who discovers what inputs will cause a reboot will send them so often that the device will continually reboot. This is a classic denial of service attack vector. A better approach would be to shut down the interface receiving the bad data and send a warning. This would ensure that the medical device continues to function. When we design medical devices at Draeger, we strive to find a balance between safety and security. Thank you for listening and stay tuned for future episodes.